people and welcome to Saturday the <laughs> oh my goodness me what date is it Saturday the 23rd of March <laughs> I've got everything ready for the video that I have forever been promising but hopefully by the time this vlog goes up this video will be up so I have <sighs> breath so I have all my makeup bags and all that so it's going to be the video from it's only war paint and she gives me the greatest video ideas but <laughs> i just thought this one's a lot of work it was just packing all this and then i have to unpack it all and all of that jazz people so it goes like this the question is this you are going to be away for the day hi lily baby you need a day bag with all your essentials, full size wallet, large makeup bag, agenda, keys, everything. So, <laughs> and we all know I'm a, a just in case type of person. Oh, that is plain there. But anyway, I'm not going to talk about that anymore because I'm going to talk about all of that on the next video. I'm having some bread from a local bakery. So. Mmm, I try to limit myself to bread only at the weekend and I only eat like this pure bread. None of that supermarket bread. So Rico comes in with this freshly baked on a Saturday morning. Mmm, delicious. Isn't it really? It's absolutely delicious and I've also poured myself ready for filming. A wee glass of rosé prosecco organic. Cheers! And we're gonna get into this filming. Oh, let me tell you what makeup I have on. You're not getting any more, Lily. Go away. So I've used another palette today. So this is the powder bronzer palette, and I did the same as I did with the last palette, which was I used it on my eyes, I used it on my cheeks. Let me show you what it looks like. There we go. Little gingerbread men there. So I kind of used all that. I used this really dark one under the eyes as a liner. So, yeah. That's what I used. And so that can go away and put away and be shared amongst the folks. And on my lips... I have Love Me Liquid Lip Colour by MAC. Also did a shorts on that, which I shall link below. Kelly has requested this one. So I shall be passing this one on. Right, also, do you want to see what I did to my bag? So had my um, Louis Vuitton Never Full at the gym today and I knew when I did it, I knew when I did it, I shouldn't have done it, but I did it anyway. <laughs> I put my coffee in there and I didn't have my organiser, which normally if I was to carry coffee in my bag, it would sit in my organiser and I spilt it in my bag. Can you see that white patch? That's because I put down um, my carbonate of soda to kind of soak up the coffee stain so i don't know if that's bicarbonate of soda staining or if i've lifted the color off the bag but i'm not bothered i've had it for years i'm not bothered i'm really i'm not that thingy about my bags you can still use it nobody will see the inside of the bag so i'm not really not bothered what it is but we'll see if within time of it being used if that will eventually lift I think it's actually lifted the colour because I'm sure it would just... Ugh, I don't know. I'm not going to overthink it. Okay, so I went to the gym. I did my three classes today. My Apple Watch is ready to switch off as it usually does. It's even earlier today than usual. Um, so I did 45 minute high rocks, 45 minute spin, half an hour core and... That's my exercise for the weekend. Right, let's, let's do this. Let's do this and stop for now. <laughs> Hello, my people. Welcome to Sunday. A sunny Sunday. Sunny Sunday. It's a beautiful day out there. It is the 24th 
and I thought I'd quickly turn on the camera to tell you I have used another palette. Luca and I are just going to go for a wee drive, hoping to stop at Zara at some point between you and I. Okay, anyway, so on the eyes today, we have Magical Memories, a scoop of enchanting excitement. That's the one I went for. It's absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. There we go. A bit of metallic going on, a bit of browns. Don't be scared. Just blend in. Like I've said, with all these palettes, just use them and abuse them. <laughs> there we go. Just play with them. Uh, I did use a base. There was no light colour in here, like a really, really light. So I used the light um, Primark base that I've got on. I've just done another shorts on another red lipstick. This time I did the Laura Mercier. There we go. And I used the lip liner I used was my Lip Cheat in the colour Kiss and Tell. <laughs> That's what I've got so many reds, people. Honestly, I do love a red. I think I've got this is so soft. It's not gooey. It's not sticky. Feels lovely. Feels absolutely beautiful. Just going through all my lipsticks. Just kind of sort out all these lipsticks that I've got now. And I thought, gosh. Where were you all my life? I hadn't seen it, just sitting there amongst all the lipsticks. So I thought I would do a wear shorts with it today. And that's what I did. Right, now I am ready. I did my little shorts video. I'm going to put this away for one of the girls to enjoy. Because the pink ones were for me to be giving away <laughs> from our It's Only War paint. So that's if I didn't want them. But like I said, sharing is caring. Right. I'll catch you at some point, somewhere. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to Zara, my people. This is today's outfit. Here we go. YSL today. And we are going to try on these little beauties. Here we have this little, it's kind of like a knitted, oops, <laughs> I'll forget the mirror. Knitted texture, $17.99. This is in a small, probably go a size bigger but nice I think I like this thank you a white blazer I don't have the details for this this is in a size small don't know how much it is I would probably go size up to a medium they probably didn't have a medium out there which is why I've picked up a small so that's what the small looks like, buttoned up. It's not a bow man, is it? <laughs> but nice. Nice padded shoulders. And fitted, which is what I like in a blazer. Okay, this is, how can I describe it? So it's not a small kind of woolly material. I love it. Again, it's a small. I really like this. I think this is $59.99. I don't know if I would go a bigger size in this. It's very different to anything that I have in my wardrobe. I think it would be actually perfect for Cyprus. Mm. I like that, people. Oh, we have another winner. How much is this? $35. 35. It's got the uh, sparkles, the pearls. Oh. Size medium. Oh, I like this. Just a little brown t shirt again. I think I've got this in a small. I don't need to size up this as well. But I do like the colour of that. Yeah, that was a small $8.99. Okay, so again, I picked this up in a small and I'm not even going to try it on because there's no zips. These do not unbutton, so yeah, I'm not even going to try it. But it's nice. It is. Let's see how much that is. £45. My darling people welcome to the 27th it is wednesday it is still march i think the last time i spoke to you was sunday 
in Zara. I should have checked back on the footage. I haven't. But anyway, here are my items here that I picked up from Zara. So I picked up the jumper. I picked up the jacket in the medium. And I picked up this top, which you didn't see me wear, but I mean, you can kind of tell it's off the shoulder top. And I picked up the grey top. So I think I'm going to keep this. This is going back because the off the shoulder thing is just going to annoy me so, so, so much. Having to do this. This is going back because this is a beautiful jacket. I absolutely love it. But it is not ideal for me going on holiday because I'll not be wearing it all the time. I basically need a jacket that I can throw in the back of the car just in case I need a jacket. And I've got the kids as well. We're going to have my grandchildren. So white is not going to be a good idea. I don't want to be worrying about my jacket getting dirty because I want to enjoy myself, have fun. And I love this. But I'm thinking, I was kind of thinking to wear this to travel because we're leaving early in the morning but I'm thinking this is going to be buzzing this detail here is going to be buzzing me but I buzz anyway still thinking about that and I'm probably wearing the same top that I was wearing on Sunday which has since been washed let me tell you okay so today's Wednesday oh Wednesday's workouts are crazy at the gym anyway I did it and I was actually I mean drenched I'm not really a sweaty sweaty person but I was drenched after this workout bag is YSL again so I used this on Sunday such a comfortable bag to use um so I had a wee appointment in Glasgow today so I had to go into Glasgow inside it I had this little round where was this from I don't know coach is it maybe coach I think and it's the first time I've ever used it and I just had my change in there for the parking meter because I had all my cards I panic now when I look in and I can't see them I had all my cards just already in my card holder my Gucci card holder and I couldn't be bothered changing out so I just shoved my change in there I had my little mirror in there which was in there from Sunday I hadn't actually taken it out actually I'm gonna leave it out now um had my camera in there which I didn't use and oh, I'm going to take that wallet out and my battery as well. There we go. And my key holder, everything fitted in beautifully. Really love it. I think I might take this with me to site just because it's such a comfortable, worry free bag. I really think I'm going to take that with me. Is that there to pack it away? Got a little order from Amazon. So let me just show you. I think I have showed them before, but you know how I like to wear all these kind of racer tops? And sometimes when they cut in in a lot rather than wearing a strapless bra i buy these little things so these are from amazon i'll link them in my description box i think these were about four pounds for the three of them they look like that so basically you wrap them around your strap at the back you, so you grab your two straps like that and then just pull them together and that pulls the whole strap in like that and gives you that racer top look and it's simple it just kind of loops in like so and then there would be the straps and they're adjustable brilliant I use these all the time I order them because I had I had a few and I've given a few away to people that needed them and um I was left with one and the other day that I couldn't find it, it was really annoying me. that is it. I'm ordering extra ones just to have. And of course when I ordered the extra ones I found it, but it's okay. It's okay. What else have I got? I ordered other things so I was I ordered my two I ordered these again. They were actually reduced. They're normally about twenty pounds and I'm sure I picked them up for fifteen. I don't know if they're still reduced, but I don't know if I've overused them because just now my mouth inside there mm -hmm. They, it's quite sensitive I felt it last night when I put them on I was like oh oh so I don't know if I've overused them so I'm gonna it could just be stress inside there maybe I'm gonna get some ulcers and things like that but um I don't know 
I'm gonna give I'm gonna give my mouth a wee rest from these, but they do they do work. They don't give you white white teeth like the dentist, like I've said before, but they do work. So I'll link them below as well. What else did I get? I can't even remember. Oh, I remember. I got myself some new brushes. It's been years, you know. I love the Real Techniques brushes. So I got myself a new set. So these are the ones I use for my eyeshadows and these are the ones I use for foundation contour it's actually my favorite contour brush and blush and things like that so yeah so I picked them up they actually had them in TK Maxx for half the price that I normally pay for them so and you know with TK Maxx you grab them while they're there because then they're never going to be there again I think they were 9 99 each and I'm sure when I got them they would double that each but bearing in mind sometimes you're paying that for one brush and these are fantastic brushes and they've really lasted me well I thought it was about time I updated them I'm going to just actually pack them like that in my suitcase I got a new sponge as well I got the Real Techniques sponge so that was $3.99 in TK Maxx normally retails for $6.99 and I got some new bags for the quilts which I'm going to take to Cyprus so that's the stuff I picked up still need to go and buy all my makeup and skincare and all of that for traveling and that's my little update of what I have been doing my people that's it that's all I've got for you oh dearie me hello my darlings welcome to Friday the 29th of March I think it is yeah because Sunday's the 31st because that's when the time changes that's when the clocks go forward is that right <laughs> yes yeah, spring the spring forward that's right <laughs> hello my people welcome so it is also a good Friday for those that are, I don't know I feel to say for those that are celebrating on Good Friday is such a wrong thing to say because it is a day that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. I know I was like that. I could never figure out why they called it Good Friday because for me growing up, when I went to church, the Greek Orthodox Church, so just in case you've missed past vlogs, my Easter, I'm Greek Orthodox and our Easter this year is in May because we go by a different calendar and all of that jazz. So... When we used to go on a Friday to church, it was such, it was like, it was basically you were going to a funeral. That's what it felt like. And all the icons would be covered up, the priest would be in black and all of that. So it always felt weird to me that, you know, when the, when everybody else, when all the other Christians celebrated Easter and Good Friday it was called Good Friday it almost felt like a celebration but for us in the Greek Orthodox Church it wasn't anyway so I looked it up and asked Google why it was called Good Friday because I could never work it out and apparently it's all to do with the forgiving of sins so when Jesus died on the cross um, it was all about the forgiveness of our sins and um, so it's about forgiveness and that's why it's a good Friday and also it's the other meaning of it is because it was what led to the resurrection and if you've watched my Instagram stories you would have heard all this before because I spoke about it on Instagram anyway I need to tell you about this lipstick it is amazing so this is the Huda Beauty lipstick and if you're aware of red lipsticks if you're into red lipsticks like I am You'll know sometimes a red lipstick can feel quite heavy on your lips. Chanel are very guilty of it as well. Um, this red lipstick from Huda Beauty. People, when I tell you I feel as if I've got nothing on my lips. I feel as if I've got nothing on my lips. I use my Estee Lauder. I'm too, the camera's too low, isn't it? I'm going to have to bring you up just a little higher. Because it's chopping my head off, people. Chopping my head off. Okay, how's that? That's better. Right, so I don't now see I don't know what I was talking about. Anyway, it's very light. It does you feel as if you don't have a lipstick on. It is actually amazing. I love everything about it. I love the colour. I love everything about it. 
oh my goodness let me tell you what color it is it is el cinco de mayo i'll put it along here because i don't even know if i'm pronouncing it properly and i've even done a shorts video on it and i'm sure anyway <laughs> people so it is friday i've done my two classes i have showered i have washed my hair which is pointless because tomorrow i'm doing three classes including high rocks and it's going to get very sweaty again but i use two products and i feel as if my hair looks like i've just come out the hairdressers i've also sprayed the roots because it's that time of the month where we need to spray our roots but <laughs> anyway i need to stop doing all that because i posted something on my Instagram the other day about that's what all YouTubers do and all of that <laughs> I've always been a very expressive person with my hands because I'm Greek and that's what we do okay so amazing honestly and I, I know about red lipsticks people I have tried so many and thanks to it's only war paint I have tried makes that I haven't tried on before and this honestly feels like there's nothing on my lips i've tried the nude in the huda beauty and i loved it and now i've tried the red and i absolutely love this is staying in my collection it's not getting given to anybody <laughs> most of the reds are staying in my collection <laughs> okay right so it's friday i'm gonna sit and i'm gonna do an empties video now because Oh, I need to empty my bucket before I go on holiday. Look at those crazy bucket. So we're going to sit and fill the mats. I'm going to sort them out on my desk. Just so I'm not kind of going, oh, it's another estrogen. Oh, another estrogen. I can just go estrogen. And put them all in apple cider vinegar. <laughs> yeah, if you've been with me, you'll know. Dove shower gel. But we do have some different things in there. You know, how does that way? <laughs> Stop. Stop collagen. Stop Andre. Stop. You know, if you can't laugh at yourself, then people, you've got a problem. And I'm very good at laughing at myself. Okay, I'm going to go and grab myself a wee glass of prosecco, and I'm going to sit and do my empties because I think. Oh, let me tell you something. I need to tell you this. I've been meaning to tell you this. Again, if you've watched my Instagram, you'll know about this. When I went to Zara on Sunday gosh that was nearly a week away um and i've just watched back the here i am again not finishing my sentence i've watched back the footage in that jacket i still haven't returned it but oh my goodness it looks good on me let me know down in the comments okay hoping this is all on the same vlog so when i went to zara people people it was self-checkout have any of you ever done self-checkout in zara i've done self-checkout in supermarkets okay so what do you do you get your item you scam it scam it you don't scam it you scan it and you put it in your bag da -da, next item da -da 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 -da. choose how you're gonna pay you pay it da -da -da. no people doesn't work like that in zara no 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 so there was no choice i had to do self-checkout there was absolutely no choice right it was do self-checkout or leave without anything which i was very close to doing let me tell you so so it's a line of all the self checkouts and each one looks like the only way i can describe it like you've got a sink in front of you so so i'm looking at this okay so i, I so I, there's no instructions there's nothing to tell you how to do this so i go there and i'm looking at the screen so i'm looking you know to start okay and then to scan which is how i normally do things at self checkout could not work out where the hell do i scan this where da, 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 stood there for ages having a moan <laughs> and then this i will call him a gentleman okay of of an age okay shouted across me says just put everything in in like this let's call it a sink right without taps just put it all in there and it's going to scan it all for you people i put all my items in there the items that i've showed you and it all got itemized on the screen. I'm like, oh my god. So you don't have to scan things individually. It scans it all in the same way. Remember, I spoke about it. When you go into the changing rooms, you put your things up against the wall and everything gets scanned and you get told what changing room to go into. Same process with that. So you put all your items and everything becomes itemized. But people, it doesn't end there. So that gets done. 
you pay for it is enough and then you have to remove your hangers and your tags you know the alarm tags the security tags you have to remove them as well i'm like i didn't even get to that bit because i'm standing there and i'm like i'm i'm even confused once everything's got itemized and i'm I'm like, I'm walking out of here. I'm literally, I'm, and I'm the person that will stand there and say that out aloud. I said, right, that is it. I'm out of here. I'm not doing this. Next minute, an assistant comes up straight away. She goes, it's okay. I'll help you. Do the and she did it all for me, people. She did it all for me. She did it all. I just paid because I'm like, I'm having to remove the, the tags. I mean, what's the point of even putting them on if we've got an option to remove them? at the end of the day you know i mean i could go there and remove them you know do you know what i'm saying i i, I was panicking because i was in myself see if i was in with rico i got rico to do it all i did a, but rico was outside waiting for me and wait, wait i do it doesn't end there so i paid for everything and as i'm walking away i noticed there was a pull on the jacket that i had bought and i'm like that to the, the girl was still kind of near me i says oh my goodness look there's a pull on this da, 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 da. she was fine Go and queue up at returns because people there are human beings where you return the items, okay? So, and I'll go and grab you a, a new one. So she, she came back with about three of them. She says, I think they're all like that. I says, no, 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 they're not at that part. She goes, okay. Anyway, we swapped over the jackets. Well, we didn't swap them over. I took one from her that I was going to bring back with me. And uh, and it went to check out. Exchange, not a problem, fine. Da, 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 da. So I walked out the shop and Rico was standing there and he says to me, you are, and he chose some, some chosen words. He says, did you not get a bag? And I'm like, no. He says, you walked out holding the clothes. Why did you not get a bag? Because people, I'm that person that won't pay 10 pennies <laughs> for a bag. <laughs> I will pay, like I said many a time, thousands for a bag. <laughs> but I will not pay 10 pence for a bag. <laughs> I have my own bags. My car is full of bags he was absolutely mortified anyway that's my little story that i wanted to tell you that i've been meaning to tell you and i'm feeling rather quite warm the sun is beaming in and all of that so right i'm gonna i'm gonna sneeze and i'm gonna film my empties <coughs> so i think i'm gonna end the vlog here <laughs> i'm gonna squeeze it all into the one vlog i'm gonna squeeze it on and then i'm gonna be um, this is going to be my glow up week. I'm going to start getting better. See, I've started getting a wee bit better now. <laughs> it's going to improve, you know, the eyebrows, the colour, the nails. It's all, it's all going to start going uphill again. <laughs> We're going towards the good week. The bad week, and then we start getting better. Right, anyway, I'm going to love you, leave you. Thank you very much for being here with me as always. Thank you to my newbies if you're here watching the vlogs love you for subscribing thank you to all my people that have been with me forever and um as always i will link where will i link it i'll just link it right here one here here and the a right here if you're not already subscribed and i'll catch you in the next one and we'll be in cyprus soon bye